<laughs> oh my god, specs, benchmarks, and some pictures of the RTX <laughs> series were all just leaked out. But are they true? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful online platform from which you can create your website fast and easy. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy-to-use platform. Not only that, but Squarespace allows you to truly create an online community through the use of its powerful blogging tools, ability to display social media posts right on the website, and extensions to help you manage inventory, promote products, and streamline bookkeeping. So if you're interested in a great website creation tool and you'll want to support the channel, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash graphically challenged to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so this week there's just been an absolutely insane amount of information leaked online about the RTX 40 series. So let's get right into it. And starting off, this first piece of information I want to go over comes from the website videocards.com. Now they're actually reporting on some leaked information about the RTX 4090 that was posted over on Twitter by the user Qubit Leaks. Now I do want to let you guys know that you should definitely take this one with a huge grain of salt because I have never seen this account before. So there's no way of validating whether or not what they're saying is actually true. But what they did go ahead and do is post some really interesting information about what could be the RTX 4090 and if we take a look we can see that there's actually one really good image of an RTX 4090 or at least allegedly what's an RTX 4090 and honestly this one does look fairly real although again take this with a grain of salt because there's no way we can validate this but it does appear to be at least some sort of render of what could be an RTX 4090. Now where things start to get a little bit weird is where we take a look at this second render as if we go ahead and zoom in here we can see that this one definitely looks a lot less convincing than the first render. Now, I think there's a lot of things that do look really good about this. There's some really good shading on the top of the card, but we can see here in the reflection, there's definitely some stuff that I would consider to be a red flag. Now, if we take a look at the right part of the card, we can see that the shading there is a little bit flat, and it seems like something that if NVIDIA was going to make their own renders would probably look a little bit better. Now, another thing, speaking of flat, that I find really, really strange is on the left side of the card the card definitely seems again very very flat it definitely looks like a little bit more of an amateurish type of render I wouldn't expect Nvidia to put something out like this I would expect it to have a little bit more roundness to it a little bit more realness to it however I mean if this does turn out to be true well then it is going to look something like this and honestly that wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if the final version of the RTX 4090 or 4080 does have a similar design to this now one thing you might notice here is that the fan here on the left side is going to be a little bit bigger than what we saw on the RTX 30 series and that is something that definitely could be true. I've seen a lot of different versions of RTX 4090 and 4080 renders that definitely show a larger fan and that would definitely make sense to me as that is going to allow them to push more air through and getting better temperatures without having to do a significant redesign of the RTX 30 series which already works really really well and also looks really great. So overall I would say that honestly I wouldn't be too surprised if the final version version of the RTX 4090 or 4080 does end up looking very similar to this. However, once again, keep in mind, take this with a huge grain of salt because there's no way of validating this. And to be completely honest with you guys, I would say definitely the second image here at least looks like a fan made render. It doesn't look like something that Nvidia could have released. However, I guess only time will tell whether that ends up being the case. Now, I do want to go ahead and take a look at another leak that was posted by this account as they actually went ahead and posted some performance numbers of what could could be some internal slides coming from Nvidia. Now once again take this with a mountain of salt but if we take a look here it does at least look somewhat official and something like what Nvidia could potentially be releasing. These performance numbers also look to be in line with various different leaks that we've seen out of the RTX 4090 Ti and the RTX 4090. Now this does appear to be uh, I think the RTX 4090 here is what they're talking about for these leak specs and it looks to be anywhere from 80% to over 100% hundred percent faster than the RTX 30 series and likely the RTX 3090 and if this does turn out to be the case or even if it's this much faster than like an RTX 3080 Ti that would definitely be mighty impressive but again guys here I do want to poke some holes in this leak as I think there's some things here that could be red flags when it comes to the legitimacy now first of all if you take a close look at this chart you're gonna notice it's not super high resolution now that in and of itself doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely false although I 
would say that's typically a red flag and is going to be something that you would have to consider when taking a look at these leaks. Now, another thing that I found a little bit strange is if you take a very, very close look, at least to my eye, it looks like some of the green and gray bars aren't exactly spaced out correctly. Now, even Nvidia could potentially make a mistake like that, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, Nvidia tends to be very, very accurate when it comes to their charts that they show, at least in terms of the spacing, when you take a look at the chart. So I think there's a couple of red flags here, and I do think this is going to be another situation where I wouldn't be surprised if this is something that maybe somebody did themselves and is trying to pass off as a leak. But either way you look at it, it does seem to be at least fairly accurate when we compare it to other leaks in terms of the performance numbers. And I think what you're going to see here overall is if I was to give my opinion on this chart, if this was real, I would definitely say that it's going to be Nvidia being very, very generous with their numbers. I mean, over 100% faster when taking a look at the RTX 4090. I think that's something that basically nobody's expecting. Now, maybe with the ray tracing on, you could see something like that. Uh, but in terms of rasterized performance, I am not expecting the RTX 4090 to be more than twice as fast as an RTX 3090. They'd have to be comparing it to like an RTX 3080 or something like that to get those type of numbers. So in terms of the performance, what I'm expecting out of the RTX 4090 is probably somewhere around 80% faster in synthetic benchmarks versus an RTX 3090. And if some of you out there are going to be a little bit disappointed by that, honestly, uh, I wouldn't be disappointed at all. I mean, 80% faster in one generation from 190 to the next is an absolutely monumental leap. And you're definitely going to notice that in games. And if you want something even faster than that, then maybe the RTX 4090 Ti will be the card that can get you twice as many frames as the RTX 3090. But again, only time will tell whether or not Nvidia does actually end up releasing the RTX 4090 Ti and when they're going to release it. Now, one more thing I want to mention real quick before we move on to the other leaks is that actually there's been some talks about Nvidia potentially giving out a signed RTX 3090 Ti during their GTC keynote or sometime around then. I think I saw an article over on videocards.com and I'll go ahead and link all my sources in the description below. But if that's the case, honestly, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that as we get closer and closer to GTC 2022, it's starting to look like the release or at least the reveal of the RTX 40 series is going to be very, very unlikely. Now, originally a while ago, I was saying that GTC 2022 could be a possible reveal date for the RTX 40 series. And honestly, it would make a lot of sense. But again, as we get closer to the event, it's starting to look like that's probably not going to be the case. And this is just another reason as to why I'm starting to think it's probably not going to be the case. Now, I think they're going to host a separate event and it just wouldn't make any sense to be giving out a 3090 Ti while you're releasing new cards. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So I think they're going to give that card out and then maybe within a couple of weeks, NVIDIA is going to come out and do a separate event for the RTX 40 series. So if you're waiting around for NVIDIA to release the RTX 4090, 4080, and 4070 during GTC 2022, I'm going to say it's not entirely off the table. They could surprise us with that. But again, probably not going to happen. You're probably going to have to wait at least one to three more weeks before NVIDIA does end up actually showing their hand. But finally, let's go ahead and wrap up this video by talking about the RTX 4080 as there's been some more exciting leaks about that card. Now, this information comes from the Twitter user GPU. Now, once again, this is someone who I've not seen leaking a lot of stuff in the past. Maybe I just haven't seen them before but it's kind of a new name to me. So take it with a grain of salt, but according to them, there's gonna be a 4080 16 gigabyte and 12 gigabyte version. I did talk about this in a previous video, but the new information is apparently they're gonna be released at the same time, just like the 1066 gig and the 1063 gig. Now to back this information up a little bit, Cop87 Kimi said that he says there's a possibility for an RTX 4080 12 gigabyte in a recent tweet as well. So it looks like at least a couple of people are starting to mention a 4080 12 gigabyte. I'm going to go ahead and say once again that that's going to be very, very strange if NVIDIA tries to do that because I think it would make a lot more sense for a 12 gigabyte RTX 4080 to be renamed an RTX 4070 Ti because it's going to be a significant cut down in terms of the memory bandwidth in order to give you 12 gigabytes. So I'm going to continue to stick to my guns. 4060 Ti 10 gigabyte, 4070 12 gigabyte, 4070 Ti 12 gigabyte, and 4080 16 gigabyte. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, hey, maybe I'll turn out to actually be wrong, but that's what I think the lineup is going to end up looking like. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think these leaks are real or do you think they're fabricated? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.